Kiev punitive forces have failed to take control over the strategic high ground Saur Magila near Snezhnoye in Donetsk People's Republic, where DPR forces have been holding their positions since the beginning of July. Fighting continues around the high ground and the nearby villages of Marinovka and Dmitrovka. There is no way this point will be surrendered. We would like to remind that the chairman of Ukrainian army, HQ Lieutenant General Viktor Muzhenka, reported to Petro Poroshenko that Saur Magila was captured on 28th of July. During the fight for Lugansk, Novorossiya's People Army forces defeated Chernigov tank brigade, which belonged to pro-Kyiv forces. Eleven brigade soldiers surrendered to the People's Army. At the same time, pro-Kyiv forces continue artillery shelling of Lugansk residential areas. The Supreme Commander of the DPR Armed Forces, Igor Strilkov, issued an order regarding the measures to be applied to voluntarily surrendering Ukrainian military personnel. The purpose of the order is to save the lives of Ukrainian citizens who have been forced by Kyiv to go to the punitive operation area. Recently, we can observe abrupt growth of numbers of military personnel who do not wish to continue this civil war against their own people and who refuses to obey criminal orders of their commandeers, the document says. According According to this document, Ukrainian soldiers who voluntarily put their weapons down must be provided with board and medical assistance, and no force can be applied to them. Military personnel who have not committed any major crimes on the territory of Novorossiya will be able to return to their families in Ukraine, join the ranks of DPR militia or be moved to the Russian territory as temporarily interned persons. Military activity has moved from Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republic to the territory of Kharkov. Late night on 28th of July, a private bank building which belongs to the oligarch Igor Kolomoisky was hit from a portable RPG. This is what you get for Odessa, note was found on the dummy charge. We would like to remind you that on the 2nd May Ukrainian nationalists in the trade union house burned alive more than 40 people who were Ukrainian federalization supporters.